and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be talking about the Mac OS Sierra. So this is a replacement for Mavericks. This this Mac this first ever Mac video is delayed so much. But now it's finally here. Our first ever Mac video on our channel. So um, so I clicked about this Mac button right here. You guys just saw it when I was talking about the introduction of this video. And I'm just downloading same thing. Because I'm just attempting myself to just get iMovie to work. Yep, and now I also have Chrome installed. Alright, that's actually Google Chrome. I signed in with my main Google account. So, because it's only two, gig two gigabytes of RAM, unfortunately, it's just gonna run that painfully slow. So sorry, it's just gonna be that slow for you. So yeah, it's keep giving me these beach balls every time. So, but as you can see, I tried clicking on about this Mac. It doesn't even just want to. Okay. So we're going to click on Finder. And I'll show you guys how to use a map. So, here's the finder. So I just clicked on it. And I'll be back. Okay, so then it is just not that difficult to navigate. So as you can see, you have your buttons right here. The red is for closing, the yellow is for minimizing, the green is for just putting it into full screen. So of course, this is the where you have your tabs in the finder and this feature was pretty much introduced in Mavericks yeah I yeah I know this feature was introduced back in Mavericks which is the finder tabs so you have your tabs right here so that way you can browse your files in the finder with just one single window but before the Mavericks then we have too many windows for the finder to navigate with our files so, and as you can see, and this is where your devices are, and this is with your favorites, slash the sections of your folders. So, as we get to all my files, no, whoops. So, we get to all my files are there. And it's actually going to uh, work. Okay, so this is what all of your files in the finder will look like. This, then if you want to just close a tab in the finder. Come get out of here, stupid be Yeah, it's just this stupid beach ball. Then you just click on this X button, and we'll close it out. So, but first, this is what your finder, this is what your final, your finder will work. You browse all your files. So sorry, this is gonna be pretty laggy. So these are the arrows where you browse all the stuff in your finder. So I mean, if you don't want to, you just double click it. So then you could just, it's pretty simple to navigate. So but as you can see, if you want to just go ahead and click on this arrow and it's gonna show up all the files. But I also have the preview pane right there. So as you can see, if I click on a file right here or a folder, so as you can see, I try to. Oh come on! This, yeah, this these beach balls keep happen, happening every single time. Okay. Oh well, yeah. There it is. I'll be back. This stupid beach ball is annoying me. Okay, so as you can see, there's your preview of your folder. So if it's a picture, like for example, I'm just gonna go to uh, go to pictures, and of course, if I want to just open a file up, this is so slow. Sorry about that. This is badly slow. Okay, so as you can see, there's not that much pictures I can demonstrate. 
and I just double click it and if it's a picture it opens if I double click it it opens the preview application so that icon should appear in dock and there we go so the preview application is opening and if you want to just minimize all you have to do is just pretty much very easy you have to just click on this yellow button right there and it minimizes the window oh look I finally have the information and there you have your picture so let me wait for this beach ball to go away and there it is there's a picture and let me minimize it and as you can see I'm running the original version of Mac OS Sierra which is 10.12 and it's got two gigabytes of RAM anyways. Startup disk is Mac OS Sierra. The display is 128 megabytes of VRAM. <laughs> That's so low. Yeah, you can still see my serial number. I'm not gonna blur it out or anything else. And the display is 1600 by 900, which is my PC's maximum, mes maximum resolution that this computer can take up then I'll click on storage still giving me that beach ball every single time and it's calculating and you see your, you see your disk and this is where you, your optical drive since my yeah this PC does have a built in optical drive anyways 2 gigabytes of RAM is installed because it's the minimum amount of RAM that this computer can take up I mean, the, I mean not the, this computer to take up, it's the minimum amount of RAM that since Lion that any Mac OS version can take up. That was since Lion 10.7 and this is where all this crap is. So let me just, when you close an application, you click on this red button and it closes. So, as you can see, you have QuickTime. Photos, text edit, when you open text edit to demonstrate how really lightweight document editing is. So, it is going to take a while to uh, open. And as you can see, it's going to open. So now we're going to have to just wait for the window to pop up. And the window pops up. And you can be able to use the application. So, let me just wait for the beach ball to go away and there you have it but let's go ahead and begin so hello YouTube so it is going to just run pretty slow wow hello he YouTube. So this is what we're going to do. Come on. So still have that beach ball. Really screw that beach ball. So it is going to pretty much wait. So I gotta wait for this to go away, the beach ball. And there it is. Now, there it is. You can go ahead and change your font. Simply change your font. So then yeah, this actually works pretty fine for document editing. So you can change your font. It's still loading that beach ball. Okay, it's still loading. So we're gonna have to wait for it to just load. As you can see, just like in Windows, you can simply just drag the window around. Yeah, dragging the window around is pretty fine. Yeah, still have that beach ball. 
so we're going to close it out. It's still loading, so it does going to take a while. So as you can see, I'm just running the VM off of VMware anyways, so... Also, I'm running VMware in Windows 8.1 since in Windows 10 it's extremely slow. So, well, I tried to do, free, do a refresh on Windows 10, but I, I don't know if it's going to function all the VMs or not. So we're going to just find out. Or else, I make a, or else I'm going to make a video of how long I stayed away off of VMs in Windows 10. So I'm just running it off of Windows 8.1 partition, which is VMware. So, as you can see, it's just, it pretty much just laggy. And, the dock and the menu bar, everything else uses transparency, are all solid. So, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to click don't save. There it is, that's how you can close an application. And let's get into the applications folder to show you guys the applications. I'm not going to launch out the launch pad is because it also is going to run kind of slow. And as you can see, you have your app store, automator, cal calculator, calendar, chess. The calculator app was first back then and was first back then named as iCal, but in Mavericks it's now... Mm, since Mavericks is now named Calendar, just like in iOS, as well as in Windows 10, you have Contacts, Dashboard, Dictionary, Duty Player, FaceTime, Fontbook, Google Chrome, since I actually installed Google Chrome, iBooks, Image Capture, iTunes, Launchpad, Mail, Maps, Messages, Mission Control, Notes, Photo Beast, Photos, Preview, QuickTime Player, Reminders, Safari, which is the only built-in browser to every macOS version since OS 10.3 Panther, Siri, which is introduced in, in this operating system, macOS Sierra, since, yeah, since Siri was added to iOS, and we have Stickies, yeah, which is the sticky notes in case you're wondering. Pre system preferences, text edit, time machine. Last but not least, we have the, the utilities folder. I'll show you guys the utilities folder. Okay, so I'm gonna open up terminal. Terminal there. It's pretty much the similar thing to command prompt in Windows. So let me just. Click on the utilities folder. Oh my god. It just went away. I'll click on utilities. Hoping you actually hope it actually doesn't disappear on me. Then we have is activity monitor, similar to Windows and Linux's task manager, airport utility, audio MIDI setup, Bluetooth exchange, boot campus system. Color sync utility, console, digital color meter, disk utility, grab, then we have this grapher, and then keychain access, migration assistant, script editor, system information, and then we have this terminal, voiceover utility, and that's pretty much it. This is the terminal. It's pretty much the similar thing to the command prompt that was based off in Windows. What, what is that? Come on. Let me just delete it. Let me just, delete. Let me just move it to trash. Come on, doesn't it just i going to go into the trash, there we go. You know, just empty the trash. Empty the trash. There it is. It's 
Okay, the terminal. So the preview is. So this is actually the uh, picture of the Shimmer and Shine Friendship Divine picture. Oh, it's just you guys heard it. It was just they've already emptied the trash for me. So as you can see, these are the buttons, and that's just the search box. I don't know who the hell is gonna use that. You just put Google Chrome here. And this is how what Chrome for Mac is, but with the latest version, Chrome tabs in Mac are actually much longer than the Chrome tabs in Windows for here. In exam, for example, it's just pretty much a little bit more longer in Mac, but a little bit short, a little bit shorter in Windows. Then next we have is Mission Control. I have it pinned in my dock, so I'm just gonna click on it. That's gonna take a while. And this is how you manage your windows like this. If you do not, what it is, do not know what it is, it's similar to the task view in Windows 10. Oh look! Look what we got. Yeah, I'm just gonna close it anyways, because it's pretty much not doing anything. It's still giving me the pinwheel every single time, aka the beach ball. Whatever the hell you call it, but I always just call it a beach ball. So let me just close out a preview. And do downloads. And this is how you're going to manage your stuff. Alright, and I'm back, and this is what the way that you open DNG files. So as you can see, if you don't know what DMG files is, then of course they just mostly work only in Mac OS. They just simply don't work that much in Windows. So as you can see, and here's our launch pad. So when you click on it, it opens very slowly, unfortunately. So the main reason is because you see the blur right there. So due to the background is blur. Mission just wouldn't let the background blur with 120 megabytes of VRAM. That's for some odd reason there. And this is where you'll, you have your stuff in DMG files. Okay, so as you can see, this is what, where zip files are in Mac OS. That section. I think it's almost the exact same as the zip files that are already within Microsoft Windows. So as you can see, this is what how you're inside the package contents of each and these kinds of package folders. I mean, not package folders, package files, I mean. So these are the package files. And we add these, we have, the, this is what your files will be. But there's another folder in there, and uh, yeah. Oh, what's this? Obsolete files? Hmm, it's interesting. I don't know what's there. So, uh, if you do not know what, actually, the uh, green button does actually just maximizes the entire thing. So, you see, when I click on that green button, and actually maximizes the entire window. So it automatically hides the menu bar, even as well, it also automatically hides the dock. Well, for some reason I wouldn't just not be able to have the dock. Oh, there it is. There's the dock. So as you can see, you click on that green button again, and then it stores it to its normal size. Click on it, and stores it to its normal size, that green one. So as you can see, this is what how these three buttons actually work. Yeah, because I just talked about that green one later on in this video.
And if you do not know what the archive utility is, then this is actually where it does of just unzipping files like these kind of zip files and just drag it there drag the finder there and yes I might actually have to hack and toss a machine when I get the, when I get the new sh my new main machine then this is what I'm gonna hack and touch this computer entirely with Sierra. Not with Mavericks, just because due to your support. Because I don't know if Discord is going to work with Mavericks, but I have to just use Sierra because of maybe they said Discord requires Yosemite. Oh great, now the mouse stopped working. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. It was just a little while, but I installed iMovie, but I don't think it's going to open. Let me just pin it on my dock. Yeah, this, I was just installing it. Demonstrate it. See what happens if I open it. Since it only has 120 megabytes of VRAM in this virtual machine, It does gonna take a while to open. I need to just put it back into downloads. There it is, it's going to open. Where you open new finer tabs. And even as well, we're going to uh, just click on the same folder there. Let's do that. There it is. It's minimized. I also forgot to demonstrate oh there it is iMovie has been opened successfully no issues at all but it could be when you're going to edit a video on this but I don't know how this entire video is going to be edited with iMovie or Caden Live which is I have installed on here okay so of course it's the button where I do near where I could do narr narrations is the bun where I swap out these. Oh, that was a pretty cool animation. Let me see it again. Oh, wow, beautiful animation. There's absolutely zero frame drops whatsoever. So, this is what your music is, and this is what media is. This is what text is. Yeah, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually just do this on a Hackintosh because this is like no way of just doing it on a virtual machine like this. And even as well it has the Snow Leopard UI, see it has the Snow Leopard window border. Let's go to transitions. open transitions I did Let me just close out of the finder just close out of Chrome and there we have it so Close out of Chrome. Here we go. And this is 
Yeah, iTunes is also open for some odd reason. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that because it's a little indicator there. I'll show you guys how what the dock works if you do not know what it works. So, if you're like pretty much in interested in Windows. So, as you can see, this is where you resize. Oh wow, it just blinks. Yeah, I just love how it looks like. Just like I like gluing it like that. Okay. Oh, what's this bun do? It's like I'm really froze. Let's reopen it. Yeah, I just free opened it. I just we after we started. Let's do and you know, I'm just gonna have to just I might just do it on a hackintosh. You do it just as fine. Now I'll do it with these shimmer and shine pictures, but let me just do it with my space pictures first. Demonstrate iMovie. Drag them to there. Oh, look at this. Wait, what is that sound? Oh, look, it features an actual timeline. I didn't even just notice it. It's an actual timeline. It's actually the storyboard. I like how it looks this way. If you want to just delete the entire clip, you could. Don't have any just videos to demonstrate. I might actually just. All right. So as you can see, we're gonna do music. Oh whoops! That was just by accident. I'm just mute it. Or else, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do a cut on this. Alright, I'm back. As you can see, this is where you do music. Let's start it from here. 
She just works just perfectly fine. How about transitions? Let's just do uh, this. <laughs> yeah, it has this aqua UI. Yeah, for the latest version of iMovie, it requires a little bit of a more higher system requirements. But it wouldn't work on this virtual machine anyway, because the requirements are just simply too low. Just the graphics only. And maybe even as well as the, the RAM too. As you can see, pretty much done. Alright, and I'll show you guys the App Store, if you do know what it is. Also open Photos, open System Preferences to demonstrate that. store is open but for some odd reason the app store is shown in Russian so yeah I'll just close it out that photos app is opening all right let me just reopen iMovie on that so that way I can do it with shimmer and shine character pictures yeah it actually does take a while to open iMovie yeah, I wouldn't install um, the latest version of iMovie on a Hackintosh, just because I don't know if it's going to happen or something. Yeah, I'm not going to be scared on that if I Hackintosh this computer when I get a new, newer computer. So, which is going to be my new primary machine, which it has is the uh, HP Silver laptop, which I'm going to get. It has an 1920 by 1080 HD display, which is 1080. Got 8 gigabytes of RAM. One terabyte of storage. That's a lot. So that way I can store. I can store all that stuff and all that stuff and all that stuff. Seven, just 512 gigs of storage like this on a hard drive. Yeah, I mean, well hard drives are slow too, as we know it. So they're not pretty much the fastest things in the world, but they're pretty much getting the job, the job done. They're pretty much perfect for office tasks. So. Photos. Let's see if it's open. Saw this lo loading icon. Yeah, it's pretty slow. It's mostly due to the UI. Yeah, maybe the UI and the RAM and the graphics might be the issue. Okay. It's loading. Yeah, the photo is absolutely loading. Alright, so let's be enough of that. I'll delete some of them.
Wait. How did it? How did it look? How did it appear like that? It's pretty interesting. Minimize it. It's pretty interesting. It did that. That was the same picture right there. Let's, do, let's go back to the finder. Let's look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and do something pretty cool. So let's do Shimmer and Shiny pictures. Let's start with Shimmer, because he's my she's my personal favorite character of the show. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the scroll wheel works, so let's just do it manually. Drag it there. Alright, right, let me see what time is it. Yeah, I'm running Windows 8.12 run the virtual machine on. So because Windows 10 is just pretty pretty darn slow. I tested it, it was pretty darn slow. That's why. Okay. You can only just... There. See if it works. Oh, there it is. That's Shimmer. Okay. Yeah, it's not showing up for some odd reason. Yeah, it's mostly due to the graphics are too low on this virtual machine. And then we'll add Shine. So. Demonstrating it. And let's do Leah. There she is. And let's just do Zeta, which is right there. Let's see. Let's do this. It's getting pretty good. See that? So I'm gonna just move the finder right there. I'm just gonna do it there so that we have enough room to put more. Yeah, maybe if we put, put more, then it's going to expand the timeline. Yeah, I had to just make a cut since the screen recorder bandy cam I was using. It just stopped right there after 10 minutes. So, as you can see, let's see what we got. Let's add Princess Samira. Let's put her there. There she is. And finally, I, I have one more to put. That is... That is Ema from the show, but she's only available in Season 3. And she's the Waterfall Genie. Let's put her there. 
There it is. I already just clicked this triangle. There we go. Let me just, this is one of the coolest pictures we put. This is actually the final destination picture. And it has Shimmer and Shine characters in it. Put the Mac OS High Sierra default wallpaper there. And expands the timeline. So as you can see. Yep, I told you the timeline's gonna expand. So oh, okay. That's the Mystic Cons wallpaper I put. Let's put another Mystic Cons picture there. There we go. Yeah, the, the timeline's expanding. Let's put a blue screen of death picture in it. Because, why not? It's the Windows XP through Windows 7 blue screen of death. Because I don't have the Windows. 8 through 10 one. Let's put the Mavericks wallpaper there. Timeline's expanding. Great. <laughs> wow, look at that. Let's put Mars view from space there. Put, let me see. A Saturn picture there. Our timeline is pretty much being expanded. Let's put the line wallpaper there, which is the Armanda Galaxy. Put Two Bing wallpapers I downloaded. It works just pretty fine, decently, but a little bit laggy. It's just, I think it's just dropping a few, few frames right there. Let's put a Uranus wallpaper there, and this was used to be my main wallpaper, but I don't use this as my main wallpaper anymore. Alright, now for the space pictures. Let's put the, win the Windows XP default wallpaper, Bliss, there. And there it is. Default Windows XP wallpaper. Let's put the Windows Vista. It's seven wallpapers into the timeline. What? Windows Vista and seven wallpapers go there. Huh, it's not showing anything up. Yeah, that's, there is a different way, but that's the way I just don't like to use this version of iMovie like that. I just like how it looks, in my opinion. Oh wow, the scroll bar is laggy. Look at that. When I just move the scroll bar, it lags. Man, look at that beautiful performance there. <laughs> Screw that. Let's close that vine movie.
Enough bugging around with Donnie. Some photos. Yeah, let's have photos that. So yeah, and let's get to the system preferences. This is for general. By default, you put in grab, grab fight. Turns all the buns some sort of grab, grab fight gray. And there it is. They all turn gray as well as all the buns here. It's still loading. There it is. See all the highlight buttons are gray. I'll just change it back to the default blue. The default web browser. I'm just gonna change it to Google Chrome. Then you can turn dark mode on and turn off. Which just turn on light mode. Turn light mode on. And there it is. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, but I just... Yeah, I think, in my opinion, it, the light mode actually assaults my eyeballs a little bit. Yeah, just that's why I have dark mode on. That's why when I install this, when I have this virtual machine up and running, then it just enabled me with dark mode by default, since I just love dark themes now. Yeah, light mode, you can see those shadows, but turn dark mode on, those shadows on the, from the menu bar disappear. So, yeah. It's scrolling. Sorry, this video is going to be pretty long. Let's do desktop. And this is where you change your screensaver or wallpaper. Let's go to pictures. This is where all the pictures are. Change your wallpapers. This is actually the default wallpaper. This is the mountain lion wallpaper. The leopard wallpaper. This is the Mac OS High Sierra wallpaper. This is the snow leopard wallpaper. Wallpaper, a line wallpaper, and this is the Mavericks wallpaper. And this is the Shimmer and Shine pic picture right here. It could also be used as the wallpaper. This is the Mystic Cons wallpaper. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, this one is a little bit blurry. This one's 1080p. But 
But I just love loves space wallpapers it's because they just they just look really cool. So as you can see, and this is actually actually my main wallpaper for now. Yeah, I just let me change it like that. But that's actually the main wallpaper I'm currently using. Yep. To reopen system preferences, show you guys the preferences for the dock. It does take a little while to open. Okay, back with the system preferences already open. There it is. Didn't even close it by accident. And this is the dock. Magnification. Magnification. Easy. Pretty easy view where the icons are. What the icons are. In position to the left. And to the bottom. I just love having them in the bottom. To the application. That's what most people do within Mac OS. So I'm just reopening Chrome right there. Minimize it. Yeah, it actually does save space on your dock. I'm just leaving it enabled. That way nobody sees what the windows are. And you can automatically hide it if you want. Show indicators. Turn them on and off. Just leaving them on. Leaving them on. So as you can see. Spotlight. I need spotlight actually. It is it's right there. I just love hanging it right there. It's right there, yep. And the notification center is right there. Looking notification center. It's it's white. It's because it's because it started with Mac OS Sierra. Apple made the the entire notification center white. It's white. So the good thing is it's yeah. It doesn't assault my eyeballs that much. I don't know how you could... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how the hell you could turn on dark mode. Yeah, it's because the notification center was dark before in Yosemite and El Capitan, but in Mac OS Sierra and High Sierra, it's all white. Yeah. Yeah, if they would have made the option to make the notification center black if you have dark mode enabled then it would have been an option. Yeah it's just anyways like that but I don't know why how Apple needs it like that. Yeah it's just from one of my Discord chats. Let's get to see. Let's uh let's have a little fun with spotlight. Spotlight search MacBook Pro That's the definite it's just definition, but I know. And I can see results for MacBook Pro and Spotlight. Just that. Search for Shimmer. Hope I spelled it correctly, because I just typed it fast. And here it is. Shows the results for Shimmer. 
shows pictures as well for the results. Yep. Oh, he, here's interesting. This is Ren Shimmer dating. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. I just made a document on that. So it's also changing, just changing their centimeter little dinging sound. But in Windows 8 by default, it's like this. Alright guys, so it looks like I'm almost done with the video, but... Because it's going to be a bit lengthy at this point. Here's our dashboard. See, we have the blurred background right there. And then we have Safari. Just a built-in browser for every Mac OS version since Panther. So, speaking of Panther, which is 10.3, then it, it actually is still pretty fine. And as you can see, Safari is opening. See, Safari is open, which is the built-in browser for Mac OS. Let's go into YouTube. Dot com. Hey, everything is already imported. Look at all that, it's all imported. Oh my god, look at all that. There it is, YouTube loaded. But in the most recent layout, where you can enable dark mode on it too. Yeah, it looks pretty fun, and I don't know what search box is that big. <laughs> and you can also enable, yeah, you can also add tabs in Safari if you want to. Yeah, you're doing tab browsing and Safari. And we have Quick Time Player, and Maps, Calendar. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you guys already know what those ads are. So, and just trash where you store all the deleted files there. And this is what that thing. We have Mac OS Sierra, and this is our drive. Let's get info about the drive. September 21st, 2016. Yeah. See how much storage space is being used. It's gonna take a while. Actually, it does took a while. Okay, it's calculating. 
Yeah, it's just a few. 65.67 gigabytes is available. Alright, so this is gonna be a bit lengthy, so that was it for today's video. Thanks for watching, please comment, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos of mine. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.